there's really no basis for my feelings and belief in that he is a serial killer, but like. Hello there guys, gals and pals, and welcome to another video. This is an unofficial series on my channel. So this is a Let's Fan Cast. And for this video, we're doing Stardew Valley because it was requested. Also, I love Stardew Valley. It's a fantastic game. I have done a Tipsy Tales video of it. It's one of my favorite ones, actually. So if you're interested in that, it will be linked up somewhere here, I think. <sighs> Post-production, we will get it right. So I, once upon a time, was in a screenwriting uh, class in college, and I was told that I have an eye for casting and I probably should go into casting directing or whatever I love fan casting I'm, I think that I'm pretty good at it now this is the first thing I've fan casted in a very long time um when I was role playing on tumblr and running rps like I was great I'm rusty now but I think this is a good one so we're gonna dive into with first up Robin who I have chosen Bryce Dallas Howard for because I think she's fantastic she has that like she has that energy of, yes, I am probably around 40 years old, but I still could kill a man if I really wanted to. And I respect it. Next, we have uh, Demetrius, and I picked Isaiah Washington. Um, he just is regal and kind of douchey looking, because I feel like Demetrius is a little bit douchey looking and existing, just a bit. And now their daughter uh, that they had together, Maru, I picked Jessica Sula because she is beautiful just perfect. Now maybe post-production me will have put in the colored photos or the the photos with the colored hair. Maybe she didn't. We don't really know. And next we have Robin's son, Sebastian, who is my first love. Mm. I, I really resonate with him a lot. Um, and, I, and therefore there was a lot of pressure that I put on myself to find a face claim for him that worked and looked uh, similar to uh, Bryce Alice Howard for Robin and I chose Cole Sprouts because you know he had the dark hair already at one point he has the energy of spends all day inside on the computer but also sometimes is outside working on his motorcycle now the next household we move on to Jody and I picked Drew Barrymore because she's perfect for a Stardew Valley character she's got the energy she's got I mean look at the photo it's beautiful um, now she is married to Kent and I'm going to read the name off here because I cannot pronounce it. Nicolaj Coster, Coster Waldo. He just has the vibe of PTSD stricken absent father. <laughs> and then their son Sam who I picked Austin Butler because he just has the perfect vibes for Sam. And now the youngest son Vincent I picked Jacob Tremblay. Uh, he is just adorable. I think he feels a little bit older than Vincent in the game, but it's really hard to tell like ages when they're pixel characters. And now for the next household, we have sweet Evelyn, who I picked Gemma Jones because she just fits the sweet granny vibes. And then she is married to George and I picked Clint Eastwood. Hear me out. Imagine him in a wheelchair being really, really grumpy. Perfect. Winner. Love it. And then their grandson, Alex, this one, I am very proud of Kevin Quinn because he just fits the stereotype image um, and casting of, you know, like the jock in high school or college or whatever. Not fully uh, the vibe that I normally go for, but you know, there's something for everyone in this game. And speaking of popular, we have the two sisters. For Emily, I picked Karen and Shipka because perfect. Perfect. And for Haley, I picked Chloe Grace Moretz because, hello, look at that photo. Tell me that's not Haley vibes. I'll wait. The next household, we have Marnie, and I picked Amber Nash. Now, I know that she is actually a voice actress mostly, um, but I just feel like she really, like, gives off the energy that Marnie would give off IRL. Uh, and her niece, Jazz, and this one was a little tricky because I, if you really pay attention in the game, you understand that Jazz, she's 
She's got something weird going on. A little dark. So I need someone that would be cute and sweet looking, but also might grow up to be a killer one day. So I chose Billy Gadsden. She's got like the long enough hair. You have to be a little bit darker, but I mean, look at the face. Tell me that it's not the face of possibly a future killer if she doesn't get enough therapy in her life. And then uh, we also have Shane, who is Marty's nephew and godfather to Jazz. Uh, and for him, I picked Christian Navarro. And I think really what sold it for me was the shirt because the shirt just screams alcoholic to me. And the hair, the hair is the, the, the style that uh, Shane would have before he starts drinking and then, you know, ends up in the sewers. To all those that romance Shane, are you okay? And speaking of alcoholic, we have Pam, who I chose Tony Collette. And I understand that she doesn't fully match the um, portrait in the game, but I think she could really succeed in that role. And then her daughter, Penny, I picked Georgie Henley because reasons. I mean, it's, I think it's pretty obvious. And also Georgie Henley is a underrated actress. Now let's move on to some of the characters that don't have any, you know, family relations. They live, um, usually on their own in their own houses. So we have Gus who I picked Conley Hill and Clint is Jake Men, 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 ah, it's also not Jake, it's Joe. Joe Mang Manganiello. Yeah, Niel Niel okay. You know what? Here's the name. I can't do anything right now. Next up is possibly my second favorite person to romance in the game. We have Leah. I picked Abigail Cohen because she is perfect. I mean, she fits the role immediately, just upon first seeing her. And obviously we have to have Mary Lewis. And for this one, hear me out. Taika Watiti. The vibe is there. The kind of weirdness is there. And then we have Linus. And this one, I immediately thought about Ian McKellar. He could fit that role perfectly. And just upon see, I mean, for the photo alone, like, imagine the experience of seeing him just chilling in a tent in the forest. And like, the backstory that would probably be possible. And then we also have Willie and I picked Keanu Reeves because I really just wanted Keanu Reeves in, in here somewhere. And you know, I think it could really pull it off. Next we have my spirit animal, Elliot. I picked Alex Saxon. Now imagine Alex Saxon as Elliot in his time doing uh, Nancy Drew, just probably longer hair. I just think it really fits. The beach vibe, the beach writer vibe. And then we have Harvey, who is absolutely a serial killer and no one can tell me otherwise. For that, I, I really needed someone who could encompass the vibes of a sociopath. So obviously I picked Randy ha Havens. I need him out of my life. I hate Harvey, I'm sorry. I Actually, you know what, I'm not sorry. Because I just, I mean, he freaks me out. He really does. There's really no basis for my feelings and belief in that he is a serial killer, but like, he could be. He could be. Now, we're on to the last household, and I waited for this, for this grouping of four characters for a reason. And we'll get into that reason. First, we have Caroline. I picked Shannon Elizabeth. Um, I think she just really fit the vibe of someone who is, you know, like, stay-at-home mom, however had a wild side at one point. And, and we'll get to that wild side in a second. But she's married to Pierre. And I picked, obviously, Michael Fassbender because I needed someone that could look, um, you know, normal, but also have a lot of jealousy issues because that is canon. I'm not making that part up. And then we have their daughter, Abigail. Uh, so I picked Ar Ariel Winters because she could really rock this role. I truly believe that. And also it would be really cool to see her with purple hair. But that's a different story. For this one, there's a reason that I did the quotation marks around daughter because there is a theory that isn't too much of a theory and more of actually could be logically canon with evidence to back it up that in fact she is not Pierre's daughter, but the wizard M. Rasmodius. It is canon. There are facts. If you really want me to go in this 
wild rant that I probably could go on for a video, I will just say the word. Now for him, I picked Peter Capaldi because he just really had that vibe of, um, loner and troubled wizard that lives in the forest and is looking for his long lost daughter. That is the final one. That is all that I have. This has been my fan cast of Stardew Valley. Feel free to let me know if you would pick anyone different for someone. And I'm curious to know um, who you envision being cast for your love interest or your favorite love interest in this game. I'm very curious. Part of me, like mentally in my head, for Sebastian in particular, because I, I really do love that character, um, I really picture Luke Pasqualino because I love him. And just the two things together would really work. Just in terms of like, casting and trying to keep it as accurate to the original as possible didn't really fit but you know in my head it's the past line now when I read fanfic late at night anyway so thank you for watching um if you really enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments give this video a like hit the subscribe button all the fun stuff head on over to patreon because I actually will be putting extra um fa fan casting in a post there I really struggle to end videos. Thank you for watching and as always, keep on shining storyteller.